<laughs> my stud feed just went up. <laughs> because I'm breeding champions now. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to believe I'm better in the breeding shed than I am on the racetrack. So, <laughs> yeah, my wife don't believe it though. So I have to keep my head on. She's gonna pension me. <laughs> you know, the proof is in the pudding, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's fun though. It's really fun. Yeah. He's done pretty good, you know, for a kid that never wanted to uh, uh, ride a horse. I hate horses, Dad. How many times do I have to tell you? What are you doing? Okay, what are you going to do? You going to be a plumber, electrician, what are you, a lawyer, a doctor? What are you going to do? You got to go to school. Oh, Dad, what am I going to do? I don't know. I said, come to the racetrack with me. See this jockey? Labor Day. Javier Castellano. Leading rider, 36 days. Horses earned $4.6 million. He's like, Dad, he made all that money? I said, no, Dylan. He only made 10%. He goes, yeah, well, still, I think I want to do this. I'm like, yes. So I got home. I pulled out my pants, my silk pants. I put them. I said, try these on. Oh, they fit perfect. I said, try these jockey boots. Try these on. Oh, man, they fit perfect. Oh, put these silks on. Wow, Dad, put this helmet on. Well, Dad, it fits perfect. He's, he's 18 years old. I said, well, all right, get that jockey saddle. We're going down here to the pasture. We're going to saddle up the horse. My friend, Ray Flynn. Rob, are you sure? You know, he's never been on a horse. I said, look, he wants to be a jockey, don't he? Let's take him out there. I took him out there. We legged him up on that pony. That jockey saddle, everything's a little slippery. He's leaning like this. I said, Dylan, it's not a dirt bike, man. You gotta use the rein and pull him in a little bit. Pull him, oh, okay, Dad, okay. He's riding and riding. The horse goes in the shed and we're like, oh no, oh no. He goes down about a 35 seconds. He comes out, he's still on. Yeah! All right, let's call Chris McCarran. Hey, Chris, I got another one for you. I said, I got one. He, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this one, Chris. It's not a little girl either. But not that the little girls are bad. He calls me back at Christmas time. Rob, you're right. He only needs to be here for one year. He said he's, he, he advanced so fast, he's ready. So then we sent him to Boston. I said, Maxie Hall, Max Hall in Suffolk Downs. I said, Maxie the agent. I said, Maxie, don't let him win a race. What, Rob, what? I said, listen, let him drop the whip. Let him get left in the gate. Let him go wide around the turn. Let him drop his whip on the left hand. Let him drop his reins. Let him make all the mistakes, learn how to ride. Then let him win. So about 90 mounts later, he wins. <laughs> and he wins again. And he wins. He's getting a hang of it. I said, whoa, we pulled him right up after he wins four. So we brought him back to New York. He wins five. He's like, Dad, why'd you send me to Suffolk Downs? I said, Dylan, you got to learn. And when you're not doing so good in New York, you can think about those boys over there, that little rickety rail riding those 4,000 claimers, and you think you're not doing well. You can go back there and start over, or you can bust your butt and go stay, keep your name on top. Well, that was a good idea, Dad. That was a good idea. Wesley, how we doing? I got him ready now. He's ready. All right, Rob, I've been waiting for this boy. Wesley Ward. Send him to Keeneland. All right. Send him to Canada. Send him. Oh, Wesley took him under his wing. And choo, choo, choo. He win everything. <laughs> I call him up. He don't make too many mistakes anymore, but I have to call him and remind him a little bit, you know. What were you doing? But I don't have to do that anymore. Except for up here, Saratoga. He won a stake, 150000 He's eight lengths out of it at the eighth pole. He come. Boom! He wins by a head! Dylan, what were you doing? I said, you know, Barkley Tag, he can't handle that. He's he's 85 years old. You're gonna give the old man a heart attack. I mean, he's like, oh, Dad, that, that horse won easy. I said, and he galloped right on out. I was like, okay. I said, don't cut it so close next time. <laughs> uh, I was a good kid. Oh, uh, man. What was the setup when Katie got going? Oh, Katie! <laughs> That's quite a story. She's yeah. like, 
if Jackie can do this, I know I can do it. I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I gotta get one ready, and I'll, I'll get.